Welcome to the Solid Sports and Gaming Channel. You're watching the Solid Sports Video Blog Episode 58. Where it's today's date is September 22nd, 2018. Thank you for joining me. I'm Troy West, of course, here with you every week or Saturday to give you a review of all the things that happen in sport throughout the week. And also, I'm here on Wednesdays and I see you Monday morning as well for my solid, well, for my Monday morning football hangover, a new segment I do just to review what's going on in the NFL. Of course, week three is tomorrow. Um, I give you all my picks for this week. Um, also, MLB update, uh, Red Sox finally clinched the AL East and they will continue to roll on to the playoffs. Yankees um, still looking sharp. Uh, talk about the Dodgers as well as they took a, a little bit of a hold on the NL West as we push towards the playoffs in baseball. And NBA, I got my top five shooting guards in the NBA going into the season. Of course, the NBA season starts pretty serious about a couple of weeks. So uh, I've been doing a couple of countdowns for that. And like I said, my week three picks. And also, uh, just a few thoughts on college football. Alabama with a big game against Texas A&M tonight. And Tiger Woods is in contention again in golf. But first, uh, we'll start with baseball. Of course, I always start with baseball first because... Like I said, I don't know a lot of baseball fans, but I grew up watching baseball, so I still follow baseball, and I definitely watch it on the playoffs. But as I mentioned, the Red Sox finally clinched the East this week. Um, the Yankees won that series, though, um, but the Red Sox still was able to celebrate on the field by winning the last game of the series and clinching the East. They got a big uh, series this week with the Indians. Of course, they played last night. Don't know who won. I should have probably checked that stuff out. Um, but they play the Indians this week. Um, Indians will be a formidable team, speaking of them. In the Central, they've been clinched. Um, the West, uh, Astros still with a little bit of a cushion against the Oakland A's. But the A's are still rolling, playing very well. I think they uh, won a game, I think it was against, um, I want to say Seattle, beat them 24-3. Scored 24 runs, so uh, the A's are for real. Um, American League, like I said, the playoffs picture pretty much clear already. Um, of course, Boston won the East, and Indians won the Central. Um, the West looks like it's going to be Houston. It'll be the division winner. Then the wild card game looks like it's going to be the Yankees and the A's. But who will be at home will be the tell of that story. But whoever wins that series is going to give Boston a tough series in that first round because that's who they will have to play. Um, so uh, that's going to be tough for both of those teams. kind of sucks. Like I said, you got the one-game playoff, and then you only got a five-game series um, in that first round. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. American League looking pretty tough. But they're the five teams that's most likely going to make the playoffs. Uh, Tampa Bay Rays, I looked at their record. I'm like, wow, they playing pretty well. Like, that's, that's the organization continue. They compete. They all never really they, they always hang around, you know. They, got a, they must have a great farm system for them to keep losing. Excuse me, losing players and still win 85, 90 games a year. So um, I think they got about 84 wins. So that's impressive to me in the American League East as well. So, um, but let's move on to the National League. Of course, I mentioned the Dodgers. They had a monster series against the Colorado Rockies. They swept them and take a two and a half game lead. That could have changed since last night. Don't know who the Dodgers played this weekend, but. Um, I still like the Dodgers uh, winning this division. Um, the Arizona Diamondbacks have fallen off a little bit, falling back into the pack. Um, the Rockies still hanging in there. In the East, my Braves still, I think, got about a five-game lead over the Philadelphia Phillies. Um, and in the Central is the Cubs and the Brewers battling. Um, Brewers had one of, they, um, one of the wild cards, I believe, and so did the St. Louis Cardinals, which, like I said, that's to me, that's like the Spurs and the uh, Patriots of the baseball, even though they only got one World Series out of this, I want to say this last 20 years, but they has been consistent, consistently in the playoffs, either win the division or a wild card. They're always around or near the playoffs every year. Can't say that about every team. Even Boston and the Yankees have struggled and missed the playoffs throughout these last 20, even though Boston got the three championships, but the Cardinals to me has been that study organization that's continue to compete every single year um, but anyway you know National League a little bit more buddy don't know who gonna win any of the divisions yet still 
Atlanta looks like they got the biggest lead, I believe. But um, Philly still won't, you know, go away yet. But it's going to be interesting the last few weeks. I think it's about two weeks left for the season, maybe less than that because um, October 6th, I think that's when the playoffs start. Um, and that's two weeks from today. So I think the season got to start at the end for that, right? So, yeah, so for not that long, teams are already starting to make their moves. Um, baseball players will be real interested in you, especially in the American League. Like any of those teams can come out. Uh, National League as well. It got a lot of mystery to it. So go be inside the playoffs. And I try to keep up with it all. And of course I get you an update every week. And um, I'm gonna do uh, just like I did for baseball, uh, for NBA and NFL. I'll give you a, a playoff preview um, of the baseball. So, you know, get my predictions. Of course at the beginning of the season I picked Houston in the American League. I picked Washington in the National League. So of course I gotta pick somebody else. Washington is not making the playoffs. So um, I gotta pick somebody else in the National League. I'll lead it to all my Braves. I don't wanna, I'm not a Jinxer type guy or believe in Jinxers, but um, I say why not? I think any team in the American League. I think the Cubs are playing the best baseball right now in the National League, but why not my Braves? So, but I, I'll break all that down within the coming weeks. Um, but let's move on to basketball, NBA. First, before I give you my top five shooting guards, so there's been some news in the NBA, of course. The whole fiasco with Jimmy Butler, the Minnesota Timberwolves, of course, Jimmy Butler, former Chicago Bull, got traded to Minnesota last year. Um, it's always a little rumblings going on through the season last year, saying he wasn't happy with this or happy with that. Um, then he came out pretty much, oh, he had a meeting with uh, Coach Tom Thibodeau, who used to be his coach in Chicago. So I was sort of surprised that he went out. But... Um, he said basically he went out he his his number one choice is the LA Clippers um but uh, he'll be a free agent he'll get to opt out if he stays there all year but I don't know but some of the stuff that also came out he talked about uh well the young Andrew Wiggins he don't have a lot of heart he you know he don't play hard and all this other stuff they even started a beef with uh Steven Jackson I love Steven Jackson man that's that guy like I said I want him on my team any day um Captain Jack, uh, but he's beefing on Instagram with uh, Andrew Riddick Wiggins' brother and him talking about, you know, basically basically concurring with Jimmy Butler saying, um, I haven't, I didn't see a lot of Minnesota games to give you any type of, I ain't gonna go as far as say he don't play hard, but, uh, he definitely, um, have his moments like he'll have a monster you know two or three good games and then he just disappears so excuse me sorry about that um so i you know i'm not gonna go as far as say he don't play hard but he does disappear for games sometimes and i don't really think he did a lot in the playoffs either so um uh but it's it's just interesting we'll see if he get moved before the season starts or um he stayed there but um i think uh i guess you just said well let's just see what you get for him i say you try to move him other two teams he said it was the brooklyn nets that's the team i'm surprised he said the brooklyn nets or the new york i guess he would have been in new york or la i guess that's his it's more of a destination because the nets but the nets uh well i guess they start to get draft picks again you know they traded their way their life five six years ago and how long it was to get Garnett and Paul Pierce when they tried to uh, make a push for a title and they traded away a lot of draft picks, a lot of first round, second round draft picks. They wasn't getting picks for years. Um, I think that's period is pretty much done. And they didn't play too bad. They got D'Angelo Russell, uh, you know, everybody got their opinion about him, but he's not a bad point guard. Um, got a little bit of talent there, so um, maybe he goes there in the East. Maybe they are, you know, a lower seed playoff team, maybe. Um, and New York Knicks, of course, they got Krippa Zingas. And a lot of players came out and said they might consider going there. Well, I ain't going to say a lot, but two in particular that I'm excited about. Damian Lillard and Kyrie Irving has, uh, gave hints that they wanna, they wouldn't mind going to the Knicks. So maybe he go there first and one of them will come follow him. Um, but we'll see. Uh, a lot of, I uh, just thought it was an interesting story. Um, just, I mean, uh, not surprised. Well, yeah, I'm mean, surprised that he's gonna leave there after one year. 
Um, he got called Anthony Towns, even though Wiggins, you know, he probably feel the way he feel about Wiggins, but he's still talented if he put in the effort, I guess. Um, made the playoffs, took him the last day of the season, though, to make the playoffs. Um, but um, they upcoming team in the West, but the West has gotten stronger as well with LeBron coming to the West, so uh, maybe he sees it right away. He don't mind standing in the West. He want to play for the Clippers, so I think it's more of a, I think it might be more of a destination thing. He might probably just won't say that. Maybe he just don't want to be in Minnesota for more than Rob Maybe that's the biggest reason, but maybe the Wiggins thing and everything else, the little stuff, is pushing him out the door. But we'll see. Um, see in a couple of weeks how that develops. Will Minnesota make a deal? and get rid of or not. All right, so let's go to my list, my top five shooting guards list. Speaking of Jimmy Butler, he's not on this list, even though in some, some consider him as a shooting guard, some though I consider him as a small forward, in my opinion. So he didn't make the list. Uh, if I do, I'm gonna do a forwards list. He'd probably make that list, maybe. We'll see, there's a lot of good forwards in the league. And DeMar DeRozan as well. Uh, a lot of people see him as a shooting guard. I think he is at times, but I think he played more the three so I put him in my forward list so he's not on this list either um, I try to do some research on it and a lot of other lists I've saw had them two in it basically consider them as guards but I don't um, I think they play the forward position a little bit more so well just I guess I'm just already mentioning them just in case they're not on my forward list which they probably should make it um, now I think if I'm thinking about it off the top of my head you know LeBron is on there but other than LeBron, um, not a lot of forwards really. I think that much past that, so they might make that list. But if not, you know, that's why I consider them as forwards. So, and I think they is top 20 players, both of them, in this league easily. So, um, just to get that out the way. But let's start with number five. Bradley Beal of the Washington Wizards. Um, he has his moments. Um, Wizards have been disappointed in the last couple of years. Uh, had the talent. People thought maybe they even challenged the Cavaliers when LeBron was in the East, but it never materialized, never made it to the Eastern Conference Finals. Um, but that's not on, all on Bradley Beal, but uh, he had the moments he scored a basketball when John Wall struggled in on the offensive side. But John Wall, to me, is more of a poor point, poor point guard to me. He ain't a shoot first guard, but Beal um, has had his moments. Uh, had, I think he had a 40-point playoff game. Um, so, uh, Bradley Bill to me, um, is number five. Number four, Victor Oladipo. A lot of people got him higher. Um, some of the lists I saw online. Um, I guess I just, only thing, I would put him higher. He probably would climb this, like, by next year. He'd probably be in the top three. Um, if he could, you approve. But, I mean, I think this is his really broke, breakout year this year. I mean, some people got him number two. Even when, uh, over, Bre over, uh, I just mentioned Butler and the Rosa, they had them higher than them two. See, I don't put them over them two, if they was guards. Um, he's a great player, don't get me wrong, and he carried the Pacers to the playoffs, a team nobody thought was going to make the playoffs. I didn't think they was going to make the playoffs last year. They did, so. Um, uh, so I give him credit for that, and he made my list, but um, he got a little bit prove it to me. A little bit. Well, that's probably, probably about the country to myself with the person above him, but I just think he's better right now. But yeah, I think Victor, uh, he's been in the league, so this is breakout year, so I guess I gotta see a little bit more. But this guy, the rookie, should've been the rookie of the year, number three, Donovan Mitchell. That's why, whatever I just said, I'm contradicting myself. He only been in the league one year. But I've seen enough from this guy. I've seen him in the playoffs. Like, he's pretty much one of my favorite players in the league now. Maybe it's a little biased, I admit that. I love the guy. I like his game. I like his attitude. He should have been rookie of the year, like I said. Like I said, over Ben Simmons, I like Ben Simmons, but he should have won Rookie of the Year over Ben Simmons to me last year. Carry the Jazz to the second, he always to the second round. Uh, beat the Oklahoma City Thunder. A lot of people think that you know more people was picking the Thunder. I'd pick the Thunder to win that series. I ain't gonna lie. So he impressed me a lot, and I like him. So he's number three here. Top two shouldn't be too hard. Number two. Klay Thompson and the Warriors, of course, both sides of the ball, underrated defensive player, of course, he'll shoot the lights out at any time. He could be a number one option on some teams in the NBA. Um, of course, everybody know about the 63-point game he had a few years ago. Um, this guy can light it up, and he's very good defensively. Uh, we real interested to see, he's, you know, there's been a little rumors, will he leave? He'll be a free agent after this year. 
um, the red as well. So well, will this will this be the last year of the Warriors, or will they try to keep it together once again? Um, still favorites to win the title. Got to have a favorites coming into the year. So Clay Thompson number two and number one, uh, no doubt James Harden, reigning MVP now. He won MVP finally last year, uh, this past season, of the Houston Rockets. Um, Rockets got a couple of changes. Got to come out actually now. Uh, with Chris Paul, but James Harden, uh, yeah, see, he plays the point a lot, so um, consider him as a point guard. Uh, well, you know, this this day and age in the NBA, it's in the, I mean, basically it's a positionless league now. It's really no positions. I mean, you got them because you have to have them, but players play different roles when they play both two guards and one guard, forwards, center, whatever, you know. So it's really much no position. He played point guard probably the majority of the time, but. He's a shooting guard. He scored a basketball, led the league in scoring last year. Um, of course, rated MVP. Um, pretty much, uh, when he left Oklahoma City, you know, got the big contract with Houston. You know, people thought, well, you know, he'd be a decent player, but not to this level. I think some people didn't think he would reach this level. Oh, excuse me. Wind blew my uh, bottle off the uh, windowsill. Um, but uh, gotta give Jay's heart his credit. He's number one easily on the list. So let's go back. Over it. Uh, five, Bradley Bill. Four, Victor Oladipo over the Pacers. Number three, three, Donovan Mitchell. Number two, Clay Thompson. And number one, James Harden of the Houston Rockets. Um, of course, next week I do uh, top five forwards. So, of course, expect the LeBron to be on that list easily. Uh, so, no spoiler alert there. Uh, should be common sense. Um, we'll see who else is on the list next week. Um, I do my research and put the list together next week as well as the NBA season is upon us. All right, NFL week three. Week three finally here. Season seems like it's going fast. Seems like we just started the regular season. Um, congratulations to the Cleveland Browns Thursday night. Finally getting a win. Um, Baker Mayfield came in, um, carried the Browns to a victory, uh, played very, very efficient. Um, didn't have no touchdown passes, but he had no interceptions either. Uh, I think it was 17 to 23, 203 yards. Um, played very well as he came in right before the half. Um, I didn't watch the second half. I admit that. Um, I just was uh, checking the game out here and there. Um, and he came back, brought him back. Jets sort of choked in the second half. Um, Donald started turning the ball over. Um, Jets had a 14 nothing lead. So of course, uh, Browns outscored them the rest of the game, 21 to three, as they won it 21-17. Um, so I was right about that game, but like I said, my record has been bad. I'm under 500. I think I'm about uh, 15, 19, and two. Of course, it's been two ties. So let me pull up my pick and pick them. See if y'all was uh, would have joined me for it. Y'all probably be beating me right now because my picks haven't been that good. So let me pull that up so I can go through the games. Of course, I got five games written down here that I'm gonna uh, give deep thought about. Um, the other games, I'll just pick it, give it a quick thought, and keep it going. So let me pull this up. Yeah, so yeah, that's about my record. I'm about 15, 19, and two. So not a good record so far. So hopefully this week I can get back into it. Browns got me out to a good start. I thought they was gonna win. They was at home. If the Jets was on, if it was on the road, I mean, if they was on the road. I probably would have leaned towards the Jets as well. Um. Okay. Well, first game up. Well, that's on here and on my list. Saints at Falcons. I think this is a big game in the NFC South. Um, both teams come in one and one. Falcons three point favorite. Um, I'm gonna go with the Saints. Maybe it's more of a stubborn pick, and I'm making a lot. I've noticed I made a lot of stubborn picks this this week. But I picked the Saints to win this division. So I'm just thinking they have to win this. Well, I ain't gonna say have to win this game, but this game will go a long, long way to winning the division. Um, Atlanta, though, looked real good last week. Got their red zone problems out the way. Look a, look a lot better. Um, but um, I think the Saints, uh, that defense played a lot better against Cleveland last week. Um, but we're gonna be, at, uh, be tested again with Julio Jones. Um, Dank, uh, Devontae Freeman is still out, so Tevin Coleman should get most of the carries for Atlanta. Um, but I got the Saints winning this game. I just think 
if they're gonna win this division, this is the game they have to uh, show that they can win here. Uh, Bills, Vikings, not gonna spend too much time in this game. Vikings, probably by at least 20. Bills, just that terrible right now. I like Josh Allen though. He played a little bit better than um, Peterman, but I think the uh, Vikings will force turnovers and blow them out. Got it. Vikings easily winning that game. Bengals, Panthers, uh, that made my list for top five. Um, got the Panthers there at home. Um, this is one of my, again, one of my stubborn picks. Um, I want to feel like I said, I, my, heart, my head is sort of telling me Bengals, but me being stubborn and me thinking the Panthers will have a good year, I figure this is a game, you know, they should win at home. Um, the Cincinnati looks so good. It's like I've been going back and forth about this game, but I will go with the Panthers. Um, uh, like I said, it's more of a stubborn pick. Uh, say Cam Newton uh, moves the ball down the field, they play their best offensive game, and they get the win against the Bengals. But Cincinnati, though, looks good. If they win this game, they definitely have a strong hold on that AFC North division. Um, um, but they looked impressive. Uh, wouldn't be shocked if they win this game, but I'm going to go with the Panthers there at home. I'm going to go with them. Broncos, Ravens, uh, of course, me being in Baltimore, I am a Ravens fan, um, but uh, I got a bad feeling about this game. I'm picking the Ravens to win, but that Broncos defense is no joke. Um, Flacco couldn't really. Uh, they turned it around in the second half, like I said. They had 10 days off to prepare, so hopefully they um, found some holes in this Denver defense, but um, that pass rush with Miller and the rookie Chubb, you know, had to handle those two guys. Um, the running game and going to have to be efficient as well. Um, I got the Ravens winning. I think they get to Case Keenum a little bit because the Ravens defense um, was embarrassed um, Thursday night. I think they turn it around. I think they hold Denver down and they would do enough to win this game. Packers Redskins um, got the Packers winning. Of course, uh, Aaron Rodgers' health is up in the air. Uh, with his knee, but he's expected to practice today if they play tomorrow like he did last week. They played well against the Vikings, you know, even though they tied them. Um, Risk is one and one. Um, sort of disappointed how they played last week. It was you know, it wasn't that they lost, they just thought they would be more competitive um, last week. So I sort of think a little bit differently about them now. I was like, well, this could be a little sleeper team, but I don't know. I, Lord Jack were high there. I could, was a little bit surprised how they played. Thought they would play better at home. Um, but Green Bay, I think they come in there and they win. Uh, Titans, Jaguars. Uh, the Jaguars winning. Um, Titans offense don't look great, but Mariota still hurts, so they might get Blaine Gabbard again. And if it is, they definitely gonna shut him down. Jaguars win that one. Uh, Colts, Eagles. That's on my list. Uh, Colts one and one, Eagles one and one, six and a half for the Eagles. Maybe just about right, maybe a little high. But um, of course, Carson Wentz um, starts for the Eagles, so um, he makes his return at the Tennessee ACL last year. Um, Nick Foles back to the bench. Um, Andrew Luck also. Um, this is only his third game back for being gone for a long time. So very interesting game. I think the Eagles have enough on defense. Um, to slow down a lot. Um, I think Wits probably struggles a little bit, but I think he may play better as the game go on. Um, he was missing some receivers. Jeffrey still out, I believe. Um, they had to uh, sign, I think they signed, uh, I want to say Jordan Matthews. I know they signed a former receiver this week um, to help that receiver core. Um, and Jahi will have to step it up for the Eagles as well. So we'll see, but I think the Eagles will edge one out and win this game. Um, I think, uh, I'm gonna say they don't cover the six and a half. I'm gonna say it's gonna be a closer game than that. Um, who's next? 49ers Chiefs. Interesting game. Niners one and one. Chiefs two and oh. Of course, Patrick Mahomes been lighting the league on fire. Chiefs at home. Uh, I think they do enough and they win. I think Garoppolo will play well too. Uh, the Chiefs defense is bad. I watched them last week. That's, they defense is terrible, so I think it's going to be another high scoring game. And I think Mahomes will make one more play, sort of like what happened last week, similar to what they did against Pittsburgh, and they win at home. Raiders, Dolphins, uh, Raiders over two, Dolphins two and zero. 
the offense might go three and zero. Despite me not believing in them, but they, you know, they ain't really played nobody of significance yet. But they at home. That one they probably get to the Raiders. Raiders to me just a little bit dysfunctional. Um, I think they play a lot better, but I still think they're far short. I think Miami win that game at home. This is on my list. Big game this week. Both teams 0-2. Giants at the Houston Texans. Texans get six points in this game. Um, I'm going with Houston. They at home. Giants offensive line still suspect, but Houston, I was surprised. And they lost last week to the Titans. You know, get, you know, against a backup quarterback. I thought the defense would definitely shine. I mean, it's it, it played pretty decently, but um, still, you know, we had a pass rush with Watt and um, they made me all clowning. But I think they had turned it around there at home. Um, but unfortunately, the Giants just to me just look like a good team. Um, Got to somehow find over there back to get him the ball. Eli looks very very old right now um and a lot of experts have said yeah how he looks when he get hit he has he does look kind of like petrified um so that might be why he's you know struggling as well but um i don't know uh, i got the i uh, just think houston to win this game um big game for both teams of course on three teams making the playoffs is a, uh, a long shot so Definitely want to get this win. Chargers and Rams. Uh, battle of LA. Rams 2 0, Chargers 1 1. Rams get 7 here. Mm, I mean, not, you know, not over barely high. Chargers, uh, you know, the team's supposed to uh, turn the corner this year. Um, but I like the Rams. They're my number one, they number, number one team on the power rankings. Um, they got a little bit of everything good defense, good offense. Um, they at home, even though it's the home for outlet for the Chargers now too. So, but I think the Rams are a little bit better. Um, I think they win it at the edge. I think they. I don't think they cover this seven point. I think it'd be a closer game. But I got the Rams winning at home. Um, Todd Gurley have a monster game again, and the Rams win. That's how I see that going now. All right, so a couple of more games on here. Um, Bears, Cardinals, got the Bears when the Bears look pretty good right now, especially on defense. Cardinals looking pretty, really bad. Um, I wonder who will start this week. Will they go with uh, Josh Rosen or will they stick with Zad Bradford? I got the Bears winning that game. Seahawks, Cowboys, um, Seattle at home, I got them winning. Um, this is more one of my stubborn picks again. I had Seattle at least competing for a playoff spot, but they look pretty bad so far. Um, I still believe in Russell Wilson though. Um, Cowboys got a good defense, so we'll see if they can go up there and win. And I just think the hostile crowd will be too much for Dallas. I think Seattle edge one out and win. Uh, Patriots Lions, that's a Sunday night game. Um, Patriots, um, see, uh, well, you know, it's the reunion with Matt Patricia, is the coach for the Lions. I think Belichick pretty much knows his disciples. Uh, I don't know what the spread is, but I think the Patriots cover whatever the spread is. I think this would be mm, sort of an easy win. I think they pull away in the second half. Got the Patriots winning. Then Monday night, Steelers, Buccaneers. Of course, I'll talk more about that Monday morning on my uh, Monday morning football hangover. But I got the Steelers winning. This is another stubborn pick. I picked the Steelers to do some things this year. They don't look good. Um, Tapper looks good with... Uh, Ryan Fitzpatrick, they pretty much already said that they're going to stick with him. So this is the final week for Winston's, uh, James Winston's suspension. So we'll see if they stick with him or not. Um, I got Pittsburgh winning though. 37-31 is my score. I think it'll be a uh, shootout a game. And I think the Steelers will prevail. Finally get their first win of the year. Of course, Steelers will come in the game 0-1-1 with a tie. And of course, the Buccaneers are 2-0. Going into Monday night's game. Of course, I talk low about that game uh, Monday morning when you join me. I'll be live on YouTube um, every Monday morning after Sunday's games just to give you my thoughts on what happened on Sunday. So that's it for my week three picks, of course. Uh, we're going to go ahead and move on in this video. 
Um, of course, like I said, I mentioned Tiger Woods at the top of the, uh, the blog. Uh, he's a contention to win. Um, I know he was tied after the first round. I think he was only about two shots back after the second round. Of course, third round today, and of course, the final round is Sunday. Um, hopefully, he wins. Like I said, I root for Tiger Woods as well. My door popped up was the win. It's windy. Um, so, a lot of this video had a lot of stuff happening. Bottles falling. Uh, I had to stand up. Um, but anyway, uh, hopefully, he gets the win. We'll see. Um, he always come close. He been close the last couple of weeks with winning. We just couldn't push it, push through. So maybe this week could be the week. Um, I definitely say something about it next week or even Monday when I go on live if he won or not. College football, a couple of interesting games. Not a lot of big big games this week. One of the big games is uh, Alabama at Texas A&M. Texas A&M was played pretty well even though they lost um, once already. But uh, Alabama looks. Uh, very very strong. Look like they finally got a, a major offense. Um, that young, uh, I, I can't, I ain't gonna lie, I can't pronounce his name right. You know, you got Hurts, and then you got the uh, Tavola. Tavola. Uh, Tavola. Uh, apologize about not pronouncing his name right, but him, um, he from Hawaii. That guy can play. Um, now it's been rumors this week that Hurts might transfer. Um, but Saban said he going. You hear, use both for guys, so. Um, but we'll see tonight. I think Alabama will win this game, though. Um, but uh, they got it. You know, they still got to play Auburn and LSU. So we'll see. LSU looks good. Um, they still undefeated. So uh, Auburn, of course, they beat Auburn. Um, so um, other than that, not no other real big games. Um, there's other, you know, some rivalry games like Tennessee, Florida, and the SEC. A um, couple of other games. So. Uh, Stanford and Oregon, that's a big game as well. That's probably the other big game. That's in the Pac-12. Um, so, two big games there with rankings. Uh, teams with ranks, though. Um, so, uh, check those out tonight. If you're a college football fan, they probably the two games that everybody will be watching. Um, so, that'll do it this week. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all the support. Uh, of course, always, shout out to my man, Fat Man. Um, Don Parker. Uh, he's like a brother to me, um, and my YouTube family, Yep One, Yellow K Diamond, uh, she's been real supportive for the channel of late, so uh, check her channel, she got multiple channels, um, so uh, that's her main channel, but check out all her channel, I'll put the link um, in my uh, in the um, info uh, box here, where you watch the video, so you'll see it there, she, uh, you'll see all the rest of her channels as well, um, but other than that, that'll do it, um, enjoy your weekend, Supposed to be a good weekend here where I am in Baltimore. Another one of my bottles blew off the window sill again. Um, pretty nice day, so get out and enjoy it. Um, again, uh, think about the people that's in uh, the Carolinas. They got hit real hard this week. Um, a lot of people lost their lives, so keep them in your thoughts. Um, and uh, just try to have a good week. I'll see you Monday morning. I'll be here live on YouTube with my thoughts on week three and a look ahead to Monday night's football. Uh, Buccaneers and the Pittsburgh Steelers, big game for the Steelers to get in the win column. So I'm Troy West and thank you as always. Uh, thank you for supporting the channel and I'll talk to you next time. See you Monday morning, enjoy your weekend. Thank you so much.